You ever bring your vehicle to a stop and you feel the brake pedal going up and down or even the steering wheel shimmy? Well, what is it and how do we solve that problem? Welcome to this AMS Oil Tech Tip. What you probably have is a brake pedal pulsation. Now what causes it? You can actually see it here on the graphic. Matter of fact, I can demonstrate it right here. Our rotor, you could have what's called lateral runout, which means the rotor's warped. And as it's warped, it's going around. And when it goes around, it's actually touching that pad every time in the same spot. Now that's really not causing the pedal pulsation, but what that causes is dis thickness variation, DTV. What does that mean? Well, that's in and out of the rotor where it's been eaten at it place. It doesn't have to be lateral run out, doesn't have to be warped, but it goes in and out. So when it goes in and out, those pads are squeezing and you're feeling that come back into the actual pedal. Now, how do we check for that? Well, it's real simple. You can get a dial indicator. We just secured the hub to the rotor. Once we did that, we put a dial indicator on it, spun it around. Manufacturers usually don't want more than about three thousandths. Dis thickness variation, you can take a micrometer and go in eight places around that rotor. You don't want more than a half of a thousandth. That's going to cause pedal pulsation. Now, once that happens, Len, I got to either cut the rotors or throw them out. That's costly. How can we avoid it? Well, you want to start by making sure that there's no rust on anything. So if you've got issues with your hub, get a good look at it. If you need to clean some rust off there, you go ahead and wire brush that right off there. Make sure you hit it. A little brake clean, clean anything off there. Make sure your surfaces are flat. Yeah, and that's a new term out there called stack tolerances. We want to make sure that's on there and on there right. Another thing, no place for gunplay putting on wheels. Do not use an impact. Use your torque wrench or torque sticks to put it on. Now, Len, these rotors, they come out. Once we're done with that job, we want to make sure they're clean. This one actually came from the factory, and you can see this stuff. There's a coating on there. You guys got a product that takes care of that and so much more. Yep, you want to make sure that you clean that off really well. Uh, you, want to, you want some good pressure in the can, real good solvent product that dries real quickly so you just go ahead and hit that man look at clean that. it right off there we got a little all over yep. and it'll it'll clean that right off real nicely did that in no time so check them out on the website at amsoil.com make sure you get you some brake clean and check out all their cool products